Local matters here on News 12 The Bronx and new tonight, yet another violent subway attack when a man is pushed onto the tracks, this time in Brooklyn. News 12 Shakti Dennis has more on the victim's condition and how commuters feel about their safety. Another senseless crime in the New York City subway. This one at Myrtle Wyckoff Avenue subway station in Brooklyn. In the middle of the afternoon on Friday, police say a 32 year old man was pushed into the tracks. This is terrible, terrible news. Authorities say thankfully he is expected to recover, but the person who pushed him fled and remains at large. Like when the train's coming, I take a step back and I look around to see who's around. Following several attacks on city subways and buses, some commuters we spoke to have been feeling uneasy. I take my car now. I drive, so it's like I had to get a new car payment because I don't feel comfortable on the train because God forbid, you know, a crazy person comes out right now. Just yesterday, police say this man slashed a 29 year old man with a sword after a dispute on an A train at Chambers Street Station in Manhattan. According to the NYPD, crime on MTA property is up 41% compared to this time last year. We need to have more protection in the subway, like police officers, and you know, try to be more. Careful. Last month, Governor Kathy Hochul announced that by 2025, every subway car will be equipped with two security cameras. A couple years seems like a long time to get to that point, but I mean, I feel like that would definitely make the train car safer. As the city wrestles with keeping New Yorkers safe on public transit, some commuters have advice. You got to be cautious, keep yourself aware of your surroundings. You just mind your business, look at your phone and it's over. It has gotten crazier, but like if you're nice and you just tell them, hey, I don't have that, you're just honest and not condescending about it, they'll leave you alone. In Bushwick, M. Shakti Dennis, News 12.